Hello there, this is M6LME, and today I'll be showing you on how to decode PogSag and Flex transmissions using an RTL SDR dongle. We'll be using a variety of different softwares in this tutorial. One of the most dominant ones would be Voice Meter. Voice Meter is a software which allows you to virtualize sound cards. What this means is you can take one input and turn it into a, a bunch of different ones, and this is vital for decoding a variety of different transmissions and uh, other SDR related projects. Uh, one of the main softwares that also uses the same configuration would be DSD to decode DMR transmissions. To get started, we do actually need PDW. PDW is a software which allows you to take a PogSag transmission or a Flex transmission and a variety of different signals that, that you can look up on their website and decode it into text. Now, I'll just bring up onto the uh, website here it's uh, www.discriminator.nl. If you type PDW into Google, it should uh, bring up the web page there. This is um, this is the web page here, and Peter Hunt has actually developed this software uh, for RTL SDR dongles. Um, so in order to download it, you'd need to go down here and download the final version. Uh, this is the one you do need. The other ones, from my experience, don't work, and they require more of a developer orientated approach. So if you click download here and download the zip file, you will need some type of zip file opener. I use WinRAR for this uh, and you would need to extract it into a, a file that is easily accessible for yourself. I've downloaded it here on my desktop as you can see. Uh, so if we go and open PDW, as you can see it opens as a uh, black box here. I'm just going to stretch it a bit bigger for us. Um, this, is, this is where the, all the um, decoded messages will appear and uh, as you can see there's a variety of different things you can also uh, add it to a, a com port and other things like that but we'll leave pdw for right now you also need to download one of the main components uh, for this tutorial and also for most sdr related projects this is vb audio if you go to www.vb-audio.com you, it'll bring you to this website here. Now you want to download the banana version, Voice Meter Banana. As you can see here, this is what it should look like after you've downloaded the software. Scroll down here and you want to download, I downloaded the Voice Meter EXE file. If you download that and install it, you'll then uh, be, if you open the software, it should appear like this. This is Voice Meter Banana and it allows you, this is the virtual sound card, which allows you to send all different inputs all over the place. Um, now, when we, you'll usually you have to restart your computer to get Voice Meter Banana to work. However, after you've restarted your computer, you should notice that you get a couple more inputs on your sound drivers. As you can see here, we have um, we have Voice Meter output, cable output, and on the playback side, we also have Voice Meter aux input and Voice Meter input. And this allows us to input different um, different sources into Voice Meter. And also, we, uh, the recording side allows us to take stuff that's been through Voice Me and take it out again. It's kind of a virtual mixing board uh, that allows us to do all the things in the software and then send it out again. Now, this is uh, vital because when we take um, a software like um, R RTL, a uh, variety of different RTL softwares, uh, SDR Sharp would be one of them. Um, now you'll tell SDR Sharp to take all the sound that comes from your RTL SDR dongle and it would send it over to Voice Meter Banana. A regular configuration would be taking SDR Sharp audio straight to your headset so you can listen to it. Now we need to send that audio straight to PDW in this tutorial to decode to decode all the variety of different pog sag and flex transmissions. So what we need to start Firstly, to do is tell PDW how we're going to send audio to it. So, if we click at the top here, interface, and then click setup, you'll see that it offers us a serial port or a sound card configuration. For this tutorial, we do need to use the sound card, so make sure that the sound card is clicked. The sample rate should be at 44100 and it should be a configuration set as earphone 1. The discriminator outputs are usually used for scanners, which have been modified. Now we need to click on the sound card option here and it will it will show all your different variety of um, things you can choose from but in this tutorial we need to select cable output 
it should be cable output. Now if you also have a different device which is showing as cable output, we need to make sure in the brackets it does say VB Audio Voice Meter. We're going to select that and click OK. Now we're going to leave PDW, PDW alone for the moment. Now if we come back to Voice Meter Banana, you will see there's all different types of uh, different things in this software. Quite a complex little software to use, but after you get the hangs of it, you're going to be pretty easy and you're going to get the grips of it pretty fast. So I use um, I use a software called SDR Console, and this is what I use for my uh, RTL SDR dongle uh, to communicate with my PC and I can see the whole frequency range. Now I'll just bring this over here. This is my this is SDR console. You can use SDR Sharp. There's a variety of different other softwares, but we do need a software which we can tell it where we want to send the audio to. Now here in the, in the left hand corner where we can select the frequency, you can see I have it selected as a voice meter input. Now this is an this is one of this will be one of the new inputs that Voice Meter Banana has created. Now in this specific software we can click on it and we can select what output we want to send all the audio out of SDR console to. Uh, you're going to have to have a little look around on SDR Sharp and other things like that, but it should be straight, straightforward. They're usually all the same, easy to access uh, in terms of getting the audio out of the software. So when we click this, I want to click onto Voice Meter Input. If we click Voice Meter Input, that is now sending all the audio over to Voice Meter Banana. Now, this is Voice Meter Banana again. Uh, now, the input specifically for Voice Meter Input will be this line here. This is almost like looking at uh, some type of uh, mixing board. We have different inputs. Now, this is Voice Meter. Uh, uh, this is the input that we're sending all the audio from SDR Console over to this input right here. Now these little buttons down here, it, this basically says, hey, where do we want to send the audio? We can either send it to uh, uh, one of these inputs or a, a physical input or a virtual input, output, sorry. Uh, so here we want to send it to B1. Now as you can see over here is B1. Now if we select B1, this then tells a voice meter banana to send the incoming audio from SDR console, as we selected here in the left hand corner, voice meter input. This tells us to send all the audio straight back out to a cable output. Now, this is required because we can send, we are now sending all the incoming audio from SDR console straight to cable output. Now, what this allows us to do is also have a kind of like a middleman. We can actually listen to the audio ourselves. A1 here. As you can see, I've selected A1 also. Now, A1, you can have A2 or A3. Now, in the top right-hand corner, you can see A1, A2, A3, which correspond with this row here. Now, you can select A1, and what I do, I select my headphone uh, headphones in here. Uh, you can select the diff variety of different ones, different drivers. Now, I use WDM, as it's usually the most re reliable. If you click out... Uh, if you click your headset, sorry, mine is out uh, on the um, sound drivers. Um, we can then select A1. Now, voice meter will allow us to listen to the audio. Now, listen to PogSag raw uh, signals are not very interesting. They're just uh, digital data. Uh, however, it, it's best to always have the option to listen to your signal in case you want to judge what, what signal strength it is, or if it's coming through correctly, you select the right mode, other things like that. Now, if you do, if you have followed my guide in terms of selecting your headset here, if you click A1, this will allow you to listen to the transmission as well as sending it to PDW, which we will set up in a moment. So if you click, a, if you deselect A1, you will no longer be able to hear the audio of the PogSag transmission. However, it is still sending the audio over to PDW because we have B1 still selected. And B1 outputs it to cable output. If we do deselect that, we're not sending the audio anywhere and it's just staying in voice meter. But we do want to select B1 at all times if we still want PDW to decode PogSide transmissions. But A1 is specifically used just to listen, 
listen and to monitor the audio that's coming from SDR console to PDW, kind of like a middleman. So if we go back over to PDW here, like we did before, we did select it correctly to cable output. Now this here, as you can see, we are sending all the audio from SDR console over to PDW because we have B1 selected. So now if we do unmute this, I do not have any Pogsag transmissions here at the moment to uh, send through from SDR console over to PDW, but this setup will exactly work if you set it up to my guide. Now if we do unmute it here, we will then be able to hear the transmissions. I have not set this up correctly in my recording software at the moment in time. However, this is, this will work 100%. But do select A1, you should now be able to hear it. As you can see, this is just a regular AM broadcast. It's not a PogSag transmission. But I, do, I don't want you to get mistaken that, that this is how PogSag should sound. If you go over to a website, if we go over to a website called Signal Identification Wiki, now this is a, a, a community of people which will identify a variety of different signals you find or you're curious about or you want to know where they, uh, where they reside in the spectrum. You can go here, you can have a visual look of what the signal should be, as you can see here in a high quality image. The best part about this is it also allows you to listen to it. In the right hand corner here at the bottom, you shall see audio sample. Now if we click play, I won't do it for this purpose, as you can go over to the website and listen yourself. Um, but if you do click play, you should see and hear um, the uh, transmission uh, of a PogSag type um, digital transmission. Uh, and like I said, if you do click on the image above, it will bring it up into a more high quality image. Now, if you zoom in onto your SDR um, software, you should be able to get a similar image to this, so you can kind of match it up. However, I do prefer to listen to the audio, as you can quickly understand if it is the signal you're uh, listening to at the moment in time. Now, this is pretty. This seems pretty simple. However, for different a variety of other different softwares, it can be become a bit more complicated. But this is this is the solid basic for most um, decoding in terms of uh, RTL SDR dongles. But after you follow this, if you follow this guy correctly, you should now have a fully working PDW um, decoder, and also be able to scan the band, select a variety of different PogSag transmissions, and decode them correctly. Um, and here in the PDW uh, window, uh, the messages should come up right here. Now, if you're wondering if you're getting everything correctly, or if you've got the mode correctly, or if the audio is, is set up correctly, this is an important um, thing as well, because you need to get the audio um, correct in terms of the levels for PDW to understand the signal you're trying to tell it. Now, in voice meter, if you go here, you can t turn up and down the audio that you're sending to uh, PDW. Now this selection right here will also, it will turn up the audio for yourself as well. So keep that in mind. But if you do untick A1, it will no longer uh, bring up the audio for yourself, but just for, the, just for the output you're sending to PDW. And here in the right hand corner of PDW, you can see like a a little, um, almost like a, a, a signal um, meter here. Um, however, what this is, is when you're sending uh, a signal towards PDW to decode, this will uh, light up here and it will also uh, tell you of a percentage of the data you're sending to it. And it'll let you know if you've got everything correctly. If it's red, you know that you need to sort something out. Maybe higher the, um, higher the signal, lower the signal, or change the mode to get it correct. And then once it's 100% working correctly, you should see the messages coming out here. I'd also recommend in your um, software, in your uh, RTL SDR software, is to put it as WFM. This is very common for data transmissions. If you select WFM, this will give you the best performance in terms of 
the data that you're going to be sending to uh, PDW. But I've also noticed some other times that I needed to switch to uh, a variety of different modes to get it working correctly. But this is the solid basis of getting a PogSag Flex transmission uh, into PDW and decoding it correctly for RTL-SDR purposes. So this is uh, the tutorial completed, and if you have completed it completely correctly, you should now have a fully working RTL-SDR PogSag and Flex transmission decoder. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Uh, if you can comment and like, uh, you know, if you do like the video, I'm also very open to feedback. So if you'd like to see something else, or maybe you can give me some tips on what I can do um, better, I'd love that in the comment section below. But yep, thank you for watching, and I hope I've uh, helped you. Um, hope you helped you uh, start with the decoding process, and hopefully got yourself into RTL SDR a bit more. Yep, thank you for watching and uh, take care. M6 LME 